Hi, my name's Jack, and I built the B-29 Super Fortress here. And I really like this one because I like how it incorporates the Davis wing design, which many of these planes for the time did have. It was a new thing. Now, this one does come with the crew. This is sort of a famous scene because it has the Enola Gay picture. I tried to base it off of this. Now, the real plane is probably, I think it's chrome, but chrome is very expensive or you would have to spray paint it, which you'd be throwing a lot of money out the window doing that. So just settled with gray, even though most of the planes are gray, which is unfortunate. But this one, I didn't go too colorful. The tail was gray. I was kind of disappointed. They didn't have more decals that made it look a little better, uh, better. But I might change the name of the plane one day. But I just like Nola Gay because it's more iconic and most people know the plane. Yeah. Got the bomb here that was dropped from it. I think it's Little Boy. Yeah, it's got all the things. It will fit in, if there were bomb bays on this plane, which I couldn't because it had to. This is all filled with weight because it's very tail heavy. Um, this would be able to fit in there because it is four or five studs wide, where this is eight studs, so that would fit. The propellers do have do not rotate, but that's because the w wings are actually in this plane. It, really complicated they have to actually have technic pieces that hinge them upward to fight the warp that wants to go down because it, everything wants to warp down just kind of like this this one you can let it warp down but this one the, the real plane's wings are supposed to go up and so you actually have to compensate for the it warping down and get technic pieces and hinge it up and it eventually will get higher here than it is here which makes sense. It kind of helps if the landing gear is down there, but other than that, you don't really get much help from the plane itself. And since the real plane's engines are heavier than the tail, usually that's how the real plane balances itself, but this one, the engines don't weigh anything and the tail weighs a ton. So that would be sort of a little offset there. Not a huge on the crew, but just sort of through people with tan shirts and brown legs on the right next to the plane and sort of did that. Made it a little buggy here, even though I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. It's just an accessory. Yeah, and I, I do love the wing design there. It looks like you decided to tie all this one as well, so I think it adds that kind of extra sleek kind of detail. Yeah, I like, I use the curve, a lot of these curve slopes here. I really like these curve slopes. I use them on the back of the wings. I use them on the fuselage. I just use them on everything. So, yeah, I really, I love those pieces. <laughs> They're not cheap, but I think it really helps make the plane look better. It's like a pipe with wings on it. That's sort of what I feel like it is. So, yeah. That's kind of like the B-36 back there. It's a pipe with wings, essentially, <laughs> that carries an H-bomb. So. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about the historical significance of the Enola Gay and, and, and this plane? Yeah, the Enola Gay dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, or Hiroshima, or however you're supposed to pronounce that, but... Yeah, it was very, very, the Japanese were expecting it, I say, but they dropped the first one, and they still didn't give up. But then, I think the second plane was named Boxcar, dropped the other one, Fat Man, right? And then at that point, I think a little while after that, they surrendered. But they, we had run out of atomic bombs by the time they dropped the second one, and we were just sort of hoping that they didn't think we ran out. <laughs> so, yeah, I used a lot of techniques here to get this built on the side and down and a lot of curves and got them little windows right here so yeah these pieces are really good for the bubbles like that you shoot out of these are supposed to be the turrets that are more retracted so yeah so that goes yeah get the little details in there that's that's really neat now does the landing gear move on this or yeah you can angle it this way i guess if you wanted to turn it and it's pretty sturdy it does retract quite a bit on this one. That one retracts, this retracts, but it's really, really heavy, so I don't think I... I mean, no. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, well, that's, that's really cool. Thank you. I think it turned out very nice.